kickoff and the Madrid derby is finally underway. This is the Real Madrid lineup. Taylor Navas in goal. Sergio Ramos plays with Rafael Varane in central defence. Luka Modric starts with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. Karim Benzema is the lone striker today. The Atletico Madrid lineup. Starting in goal, Jan Oblak. Diego Godin starts alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in the heart of defence. Antoine Griezmann plays up front with Diego Costa. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. So they can regroup now at a goal kick. A couple of exceptional talents in a really good game that we might be focusing on. Well, two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. Well, it's a pretty robust start to the game. It's certainly a foul, but the referee's kept his cards in his pocket. This lad tends to put a bit of whip on these free kicks. Needs it here. Whipped into the box. Pitwell stuck out. Oh, it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Break quickly when they get possession. Read the play well. He's go. And the keeper's got to it with his fingertips. It's over the bar. And that is a corner for Real Madrid. Decided to take a short corner this time. Neatly intercepted. Conte, after winning the Premier League in his first season, the FA Cup in his second season, seemed inevitable, but it took a long time for the decision to be made. It was a never-ending saga, really unusual, but Chelsea's pop. He can put them in front. And that will peter out, that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. That's Billy Cueta. And they're trying to dispossess him. Losing possession on Golo Conte. Diego Costa. This is how they love to play on the break. Toque! He scored! Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Speed. Control as well at that pace. It takes a bit of doing, but they got it absolutely right. Well, they enjoyed that and they've uh, caught the opposition unaware who had committed too many men forward. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Conte. Cesc Fabregas. Morata. That will help ease the pressure. Koke. Okay. Griezmann, Lamar, here's Saul, Lamar. Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought, but they're safe again. David Luiz got possession, and they might just catch the opposition moving out. Griezmann, Griezmann, that's a very good goal. Well, they look pleased with themselves, and no wonder the way they stroked the ball about and created the finish. Picked out the spare man in the box. He followed his instincts, he followed the play in, and then he followed watching the ball into the net. Yeah, lesson for any schoolboy, just to make sure you follow shots in that you're in the... ...for the World Cup for the then current Spain coach, Julian Lopetegui, to say he was going to finish with Spain after the World Cup and go to Real Madrid, only for the Spanish Federation to say, well, if you're going to do that, you're going now. And Fernando Hierro, of course, was thrust into that stand-in role, and it didn't work out for Spain. So, complications, and Real Madrid at the forefront of it. I bet Lopetegui is a very likeable man, and I wish him well. Yeah, I mean, looking back at it, I'm sure 
Real Madrid. Wish they'd handled it a little differently. Did leave a sour taste and left uh, the national side in a bit of a pick. He's got his shot off now. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Coutinho. Well, the special talent on view today. We've got Lionel Messi against Isco. Oh, Lionel Messi, he's got a, a great ability on the ball. Love watching this lad, the way he can beat a player and do it in tight spaces too. As for Isco, he's all about finishing. He's got plenty of goals and uh, very clinical when he sees the white posts. Well, that's a dreadful error. And that is now a goal kick. Barcelona awarded the throw here. Ivan Rakitic. Quick change of possession here. Modric. Bale. Modric. And now Messi. Arturo Vida. It's Messi. Rakitic. Jordi Alba. Coutinho. The shot's on. Corner, Barcelona. He's got the technique to deal with the press. Shot's on here. Goal for Barcelona. Oh, it's a magnificent take, isn't it? Well worked. Well, he gets the credit, and the credit was being in the right place at the right time. That's right, Fenerbahce. Oh, it's, it's one of the great ties, and uh, certainly in Turkey. And they come about four or five hours before kickoff, don't they? Just to sample the atmosphere. Wonderful. Fenerbahce going with this team today. Roman Neustadter starts with Martin Skirtle in central defence. And they're going to go with one striker up front. This is the team news for Galatasaray. Fernando Muslera starts in goal. Ellen Dediok is the lone striker today. Sosa. Mehmet Akici. Topal. Slimani. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Really anticipating something special from him here today. Well, he's a crowd pleaser because when he gets the ball... Aye. To put them in front. First chance and he's missed it. Well, I don't know if it came too early in the game for him. Belanda. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Sosa. Ayu, Mehmet Akici, well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? He's got his shot off now, decent try. It was, but he had uh, two or three players in the box screaming for the ball. 